Hi, I'm Jimmy McCormick, I'm 26. I'm a law clerk at Catch's Law Group, um, and I'm a rising 2L at Suffolk University Law School. Going into law school, if I could give my younger self some advice, I'd say, trust myself more. I'd say I came in thinking I was not the person that, that goes to law school, it's not made for me, the system wasn't designed for me, and I think for a little bit I let that get in my head and I, I let it stress me out, but now that I've started using that to empower myself, I think that would be the advice. Don't don't take your your perceived handicaps as as something that's going to hold you back. Use this motivation to drive yourself forward. I think balancing work and school is the the most key thing to succeeding in law school. Because at the end of the day, law school is one of the most immersive experiences I've ever been a part of. But it's not everything. Like at the end of the day. I'm Jimmy, who is going to law school. I'm not Jimmy the law student. Uh, my life is bigger than that, and I think it's it's filling your life with things that aren't tied to to your law school success. And being around people that that get what you're going through, but but don't want to live in that stressed out feeling all the time, and don't and don't encourage you to spiral and overthink and do all that. Just genuinely being around people who fill you up and, and being aware of the things that make you feel good and things that don't. What inspired me to study law is somewhere around the time of the pandemic, the theater industry closed, and so that was no longer an option for me as an actor. Um, but I've been doing a lot of consent education work, so I've gotten very comfortable and very um, passionate about the advocacy space. The most surprising thing that I've learned about the legal field is just how inaccessible it is to the everyday person. I always knew that law was hard to understand and it's one of those things, but I didn't realize how many institutional barriers there are to getting legal knowledge. You don't have these resources provided to us. It's not set up for everybody to succeed and everybody to thrive. I think that that's kind of surprised me and further motivated me to really push for that, really push for that change, change and make it accessible to everybody. If I didn't know a year ago anything about the legal field and it wasn't until stepping into law school that now I understand my rights, something's got to change. My biggest takeaway from working here at Catches is I think it all just goes back to what I, the advice I would give my younger self. It all comes back to trusting myself. I think that law school, it's very easy to feel like you don't have any idea what's going on and you are completely incompetent because you're learning a new language. You're learning this whole new way to think about the world and, and information. And so it's very easy to feel like you should be further ahead than you are. And so working at Catches, I really feel like the people around me are, are really invested in my growth and my development, both as a person and as a lawyer. And so I think being trusted with doing this stuff, seeing myself actually do it rather than having to study, 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 and then everything's riding on one exam and that's the only thing that matters. There's little things every day that matters, whether it's a phone call with a client who's stressed out about their case or it's drafting a letter to an employer who um, mistreated their employee. I, everything matters and it's just about kind of focusing on those small victories and identifying those and that's what I want to take with me to law school. Focusing on those small victories and letting that fuel me.